So this is how I stake on or how I farm rather on YF die. So first I need to use my MetaMask account. And here I copy my public address. Because I'm sending if I read I don't have enough ETH in here. Because we can see on Uniswap, which is what we use to make the pool. Because you go onto Uniswap app, then you would connect your wallet. So here we wouldn't have been connected, but mine's connected. Then you click on pool and I'm providing liquidity because the farm, we need to provide a pair of tokens. So I'm doing ETH and YF die and get LP tokens or liquidity pools tokens. And then that new token you'll be able to put into the farming pool. But why I'm now having to send from Coinbase is because I looked how much I'll need. Because with YF die, I've got 0 0.35 amount of this YF die and it's saying I'll have a minimum of this is how much ETH I'll need. And then there might be some gas fees. So I'm just transferring half of Ethereum onto the pool. So that's, yeah. So here you would go to your Ethereum, go to wallet, and I'm clicking on send. And here I can send it to my other address. And then I click continue. Make sure to make sure that's your proper address or you will lose, every, you will lose it. Click continue. But I just press copy, so it's going to be fine. Press continue. Then it asks for your two-step verification. So on my phone is where I've got the other verification. Where is it? Google Authenticate Authenticator. So zero nine six two five four. Because it's a random generation code, so it's good. I think banks and other places use some calculators and different things that does the same function as this Google Authenticator. But that sense is usually 10 minutes, but we'll see. I'll probably will pause the video and then see how long that takes. So we can see it's already come to my MetaMask account because it's now saying I've got 0 0.5 before. It was saying I didn't have enough. So I can approve this. Transaction fee, $7, confirm. This is actually the first time I'm actually farming. So let's see. I might pause the video again while that's going through because we don't know how long it would take. You can also, let's see what ETH's gas fees currently are. Ethereum gas. Because the gas station is not too bad. Last week was all saying 400 and stuff. It was crazy high when I wanted, what was I getting into? Like fractal and something else I got into. It was very high fees. So it has approved, not too bad. So you can view an FSCAN it's saying. So FSCAN is good because we can see the contracts, the success. If I go here, so I can supply myself with the tokens. So press supply. So output is estimated if the price charge changes by more than if deposited, deposited rate share of pool. So this is my share of the pool. Confirm supply. And you can unstake this. So you can put back the look at these gas fees. They did save us more than $20, but that was an old video. I'm just going to press confirm. But it is looking very expensive, gas fees. So transaction submitted. Add Unival to MetaMask. Add that to my MetaMask. Add token. Close. Let's see if it's in my MetaMask account. So it's still not cleared yet. Unival, we'll see when it clears. So let me pause it. So that didn't take too long actually. So my wife died, what I had is gone. Some of my ETH is gone. And it's now in this liquidity pool token. So now I can go back to YF Die Farming. So it's the address there. And I can try to deposit 
Can I see if I ret let me refresh because this is what I had last time. So now it should show. So let me farm wife die. Wife die farming. I want this one here. Because last time I was trying to do it with wife die direct. So I clearly didn't know what I was doing. But now I'm going for the 90 days locking. So there's different lockings. I'm going for the 90 days locking because I get more of a uh, share of the w free wife dice for farming. Plus, I'm doing this because there's a new airdrop available for the say sock that's launched with wife die. So now if I click on max, so this is what I have here, my LP tokens, and I click on deposit. More fees. We don't like these fees, but continue. Confirm. Yeah, confirm. And you can look at your MetaMask. If I click on Ethereum, it will show me it's pending here. So we can see. I'm not going to bother speed up or stuff like that. Sometimes I don't like that. But we can see when it goes through, we will be back. So let me pause it. So I once was told that this can take even hours and stuff to go. But remember, why I was even doing this was to be part of the airdrop. Because if YF die, we see here. So save SST airdrop tokenomics pre-sale. Dear community, the SST is a true game changer for our deck. So that's a decentralized exchange, just like the stock market is exchange and will further accelerate our growth. Remember, for Ethereum, Uniswap was one of the biggest exchanges, and this YFDI is trying to be the, have a new ecosystem and be one of the, and the, their exchange will be SafeSwap. Just like Binance, which had revolution, everything on Binance was popping, and Binance exchange was PancakeSwap. So for this community, or this uh, new ecosystem, the exchange will be SafeSwap. And airdrops, why I even got into crypto ages ago is well, I was hearing about free airdrops and things like that because it's something for free. You just get a drop by doing something or using something. Because of Uniswap, which is now on $24, Uniswap, when they launched, so when the company behind Ethereum's leading automated market maker Uniswap announced its governance token Uni in September, it surprised everyone by giving away 400 Uni to all wallets that had ever even used a decentralized application just by using it they gave you 400 uni at that time that was worth one thousand dollars now those that kept that uni 400 uni bear in mind so now if i look at uni 400 times 24 dollars let's see 400 times 24 dollars 400 times dot 24 dollars Sorry, 400, oh, I put dot 24, 400 times 24, I mean. But that will be 9,000 anyway. 400 times $24 equals $9,600 they would have got for free. So this is why it's great to get in these little projects. And what's that in pounds? $9,600 in pounds. That would have been 6,894 pounds for free just by using it so this is why i'm interested in this because yf die currently is like in 508th rankings and some of this crypto things about can these projects get to like the first page second page of the rankings because yf die is 591 the current market cap is only 18 million so it's about say they're just not 10x and they're 180 million that is very possible for these DeFi revolutions and stuff. And say they did 100x, they will be at 1.8 billion. 1.8 billion is possible to put them, and bear in mind the other ones probably would have grown, but 1.8 billion, we can see the first page. Yeah, we've got 1.8, the smallest on the first page, or the smallest 62nd coin rankings is 1.1 billion. And yeah, so that's the way to look at these. And it's a free airdrop anyway. So let's see. The SafeSwap new ticker 
So they've also said they've changed it from SST to SSGT as they don't want to, because it's already SST, they don't want to confuse the Wi-Fi community. And it's saying Safe Satoka is instrumental to achieving our vision of being the most complete DeFi ecosystem in the industry. And you can see this is their plans for the airdrop. So two-year distribution for liquidity liquidity providers, and that's what we're, I'm doing now, providing liquidity to the pool. So the two-year free airdrops for just helping them with liquidity. Then the staking rewards two years for those who decide to stake. Then there's airdrops to YFDI token holders. So just by holding YFDI for six months distribution, you get free airdrops. The same for top holders of key safe swap projects. Because remember, safe swap is also about people that need to be able to want to do projects and they need liquidity. So that's where they can go then launch their projects and provide liquidity. Because this is all the DeFi is about being able to get money because even somebody was mentioning, say they have thirty, say they had loads of debt problems and they have thirty five thousand in the bank, and they just said to someone, "I want to borrow thirty five thousand. I've got my thirty five thousand in the bank. If anything happens, you can take that. If I can't pay you back, it won't be easy for that guy to get finance because he's got bad credit rating. Even though he's got the thirty five thousand in the bank and he's showing them, yeah, I just want to borrow thirty five thousand, and here's my collateral it's in my bank, things like that. You can even have it, my my access to my bank account." But it's not, it wouldn't be easy for him to get because he's got bad credit rating. Whereas DeFi and all this is about making money available to anyone so we can get these new creative ideas financed and things like that. So that's why the revolution is crazy. And just and you're able to just say, OK, I've got 35000 worth of this token and put that into the pool. And you can borrow 35000 of that token and they're fine because you provided as much as you borrowed. Whereas with a normal system, they want credit score, they want this, you're working, you've got bank account, you've got this. So this is the def difference of the DeFi is global and it's making things fairer and easier for somebody to get this great idea working. So 